chemical weapons. So please listen. Chemical weapons, what are the classes of chemical weapons? Which law has been passed by India hmm, to obviously to not for producing? Nobody can uh, pass laws for that. That is for stopping. That is Weapons of Mass Destruction Act. Which year it was passed? 2005. That we'll see later on. Chemical weapons actually, there are broadly three categories. First, all of you have read in newspaper recently, nerve agents. Next is blistering agents. Third one is what blood agents. All three are there. Most powerful, no marks for guessing, nerve agents. Example of nerve agents, VX, most powerful among all. Serene. Serene and VX, no comparison. VX is 100 times more powerful than Serene. Obviously, there are other names, Samoon, Taboon, they will not be asking for it. Like it's worst case scenario. They have asked question in the past as well about uh, other things hmm, related. So what, how they work actually? Basically, yes, this he should ask. Nerve agents work <coughs> by disrupting the transmission of nerve impulse. What is nerve impulse? The communication between neurons. That is nothing but the electrical wave. And how the nerve impulse transmission takes place? Actually, the connection, obviously there is no direct connection. There is always a gap between neurons like this is known as synapse. At this site, which you can see the gap between my two hands, that is known as synaptic cleft, C-L-E-F-T. In synaptic cleft, some chemicals are released. One of them is no, obviously is very, very popular. That is obviously acetylcholine. And generally, we call them as neurotransmitter. Neurotransmitter. So they induce the change in, change in the next neuron, then obviously in the next neuron. So what actually nerve agents do? They cause the accumulation of acetylcholine. Means they block the process of the changes being induced by acetylcholine in the next neuron. So it is very much like suddenly you can say that all the traffic lights have become green. Red will not be a problem. Green will be a problem. Red all the people will stop. Green obviously all of them will be started moving. So that is what we call as nerve. Okay, and this is not the first time. The first example of the use of nerve agent is from Japan. There was a doomsday cult and they used this VX in a tube. Tube means their metro and all that. And obviously around 30 plus people were killed in that particular attack. Obviously later on what happened to them, that's a different story. Hmm. Serene, obviously, and this thing. Obviously you will see, sir, but then we saw those pictures. I was not able to watch those pictures, hmm. not even in newspapers, we saw people huffing and puffing, actually simple. It's a simple case, nerves control each and everything voluntary as well as involuntary. Involuntary means the heart, the lungs, kidneys, intestine, everything. And obviously voluntary, if there is a paralysis, no problem sometime. But involuntary, if there is a paralysis, just imagine the lungs getting paralyzed. That's it. That's it. Hmm? So these are nerve agents. I hope it's okay. Now, obviously, this is we, this is not our mandate right now. Hmm? That who actually has used it? The fact is they have been used. That nobody can deny. Okay. The situation is very complicated over there. Hmm? Being a student of that subject, all of us know that. Blistering agent. Blistering agent here, they use something known as mustard gas. You might, organic chemistry, mustard gas reaction. Nitrogen mustard, sulfur mustard. These are what, what they do. Blister actually, they penetrate through the skin and or they are inhaled also. Obviously, it is being used. It has to be used in the form of a gas, mustard gas and all that. So inhalation and coming in contact, these are the only two routes. Okay, and what they do? Eventually, they, they lead to the failure of the respiratory system. Blister, don't confuse with the word of the really formation of blisters. Okay. There is one chemical, again, I might have told to you in previous classes somewhere, that there is a chemical known as Agent Orange. 
if they give agent orange as a blistering agent my request to you pleading hmm, you will not include it you will not accept it okay why because agent orange is basically a defoliating agent and when it was used vietnam war what have was going on in vietnam war those people were carrying out guerrilla attacks those means vietnamese people against whom you know the answer american forces so what happened when they got frustrated they used this agent orange sprayed it over the forest because you can see the mekong ganga region and all that rain forests are there that led to the shedding of the leaves but what happened to the human beings obviously it worked like a blistering agent but technically it is not a blistering agent if you will find the option it is a defoliating agent. defoliating means causing the shedding of the leaves just less last one blood agent Blood, blood agent one very famous example at least in movies we have seen 70s movies they used to show in hindi hmm? cyanide hmm? the moment someone approach them they will put a tablet on their tongue hmm? that's it hmm? okay cyanide that is blood agent means they dissolve the blood in the blood and what they do actually listen here blood agents they impair the ability of the blood cells to carry and transport the oxygen obviously rbcs will be carrying the oxygen so obviously when they are being used this is how they work and obviously suffocation will lead to the death of the these are the three classes of what we call as chemical weapons there is a chemical weapon convention last year there was a question on that hmm. this year probably they will be asking on these agents okay